Hi everyone. Uh, my name is Eva Gray Kantoma. I'm from Greatest Design Consult. You can reach me on this number. You can call me on any of these numbers. Okay. Today I'm going to be showing you uh, your roof load. Okay. In your prota structure, how to insert your roof load. Okay. So if we come to our prota structure model here, as you can see here. Okay, so there are different ways at which you may want to use to achieve that. Okay, uh, but you must have at the back of your mind that for your roof load is actually one kilo nitim per meter square. Okay, and then we go further to explain it uh, manually by saying if you want to calculate this manually, we assume that we have our GK to be that is our dead load which is 0 0.65 kilo newton per meter square our life load 0 0.25 kilo newton per meter square then you have the ultimate uh you multiply by the factors okay by serviceability load which is uh, multiplied by one so if you do your one times 0 0.6 anything multiplied by one does not change okay so 0 0.65 plus 0. 25 equals to 0 0.1 which is approximately one kilo nitim per meter square so to achieve this uh, in your prota structure all you need to do is to come to your roof level uh, you have this 230 by 300 size of your beam you can simply come to your beam if you click on the beam you right click you click on edit load if I come under my wall load, I can just uh, put this load on top of the beam directly. Okay, that is, I'm loading this particular beam uh, with uh, one kilo meter per meter square. You can see here. So all I need to do is to change all of these values. Okay. Uh, so our wall unit weights. Uh, will now be one kilo meter per meter square. So if I make it in this way and then I come here, I will just click on this. Now you can see automatically uh, the weight of this particular uh, load coming on top of this particular beam. It's actually one kilo meter per meter square. So I can just simply just copy uh, the load just the way you copy your wall load and paste on all other beams okay so if i click on copy load and then uh, I'll click on ok i can just highlight all the beams uh, if i highlight and i click on paste load okay so if i click on paste load you can see that load has been added so i can simply just use this like this or i can come down now to this point and delete this okay oh as a mistake uh, i have to click on the beam and click on uh, delete load okay so if i click on delete load the load has is gone and then the beam is still there so to do this the other way round we can just use the slab uh, i can simply just come here to this place and i will I can easily select select my flat slab you may have a different way you may most likely want to achieve these so this thickness of last slab I can take it to the barest to the lowest thickness just to achieve my one kilo nitim per meter square you can see if I add this plus this is approximately one kilo nitim uh, per meter square so I can just simply insert this particular uh, slab on this so this slab is going to distribute the load down to our beams okay so if you really love what you are seeing why not just like this video give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel it's actually free click on the bell icon so as for you to get a notification whenever I post videos I post videos like this on a weekly, sometimes on a daily, just to encourage as many that actually want to have a deeper insight of design. Like we know, we have covered structural designs, mechanical and electrical service drawings, road designs, water designs, 
they are very much available on our youtube channel all you need to do is just to go down below the description of this video and you find a link to that channel visit the channel and keep yourself busy okay like this video just give it a thumbs up subscribe to this channel is actually 100 percent free when you subscribe you see a bell icon make sure you click on it in order for you to always get a notification whenever i post videos okay make sure you stay safe and make sure you stay blessed okay